Hello everyone, Tim Gaming here. Today I have the pleasure of bringing you some Scar H gameplay on the map Village, playing some 6v6 kill confirmed. Now this is a pretty sweet gameplay. I end up getting all my assault kill streaks, go on a bit of a tear, and we end up smashing the enemy team. But today's commentary isn't going to be about the gameplay. It's going to be about Gareth Bale. Now, as most of you guys will know, Gareth Bale is a very, very talented footballer. He plays for Tottenham Hotspur in Wales, and he was selected to play in the GB Olympic football team which is obviously going to just kick off this week. Now, Gareth Bale pulled out of that team because he said he had an injury so he couldn't compete. And, you know, that's fair enough if you're injured. You're not expected to play with one leg hanging off or your arm out of its socket or whatever. But then, after claiming he was out injured so he wasn't fit for selection, Gareth Bale played a match for Tottenham Hotspur yesterday. Now, Gareth Bale has just said he's injured, so he can't play football for the GB team. GB's first game is this Thursday. It's Thursday night, in fact, at 8 o'clock. So if you're injured for that game, why can you play two days before it? And this is a big scandal because he's come out and he said he's injured when, quite frankly, he could, could have clearly played. Because if you're fit enough to play for Tottenham Hotspur, you're fit enough to play for the GB Olympic team. And I'm just completely stunned by this snub. You know, this is the first time since the 1940s that Great Britain are going to have an Olympic team at the Olympics, Olympic football team at the Olympics. You know, it's an Olympics in our home country, once again, for the first time since the 1940s. And for Gareth Bale to turn that opportunity down, it just, it, it boggles my mind because... When I actually look at this situation objectively, I can't see any reason why Gareth Bale wouldn't want to go. You know, I've said all the reasons why. First Olympics in like 60, 70 years that we've had a football team, we're probably never going to have a football team again. It's in our own country, and Gareth Bale's too good for that. You know, he has snubbed playing for the Olympic football team in our own country, and I find that absolutely incredible. You know, the fact that he snubbed it is bad enough. But then the fact that he's gone on and lied about it, saying he's injured, when he might have been injured, but if you can play yesterday, Gareth, you can certainly play in the tournament. You know, it's just unbelievable. But what really makes me angry about this is not only is he turning down an opportunity that millions of people around the world would give their right arm for. I mean, competing at the Olympic Games competing at the Olympic Games, he's turned that down when people around the world would do anything for an opportunity that he's got there. Literally anything. He's turned that down for no reason. He's lied about why he's turned it down. And the worst thing about it is, Gareth Bale posed in the GB Olympic kit months ago. So he used the Great Britain football team to boost his image, to get his face in the public eye more, to really increase his profile, and then he's too big for it all of a sudden. You can probably tell by my tone of voice that I am not particularly impressed with Gareth Bale at the moment. And you know, this is something that I wasn't going to expect from him. Because, you know, I really like Gareth Bale. He's an unbelievable footballer. And he seems like a, a regular guy, you know. You see some footballers like John Terry and Ashley Cole, you know, going on 13 extramarital affairs, you know, Ryan Giggs having an affair for years with his brother's wife, Ashley Cole shooting a, a work experience student at the Chelsea training ground with an air rifle. You know, you hear all of these horrible stories about footballers and Gareth Bale always just seems to be a normal guy. You know, a normal guy with a lot of talent who just happened to play for Spurs. You know, they do happen. Normal guys do get good at football. But for him just to blatantly snub this absolutely unbelievable opportunity when so many millions of children and adults around the world would do anything for even a shot at that opportunity I, I'm absolutely stunned but the, the actual story doesn't end there because Seth Blatter who's another of my least favorite people he's come out and said that if the FA put in an official complaint he can be banned for playing for Spurs while the Olympics on now if I was a member of the FA I would be typing up that complaint right now because not only has he snubbed the Olympic football team for no good reason, he's lied about it and he's used the Olympic football team in the past to promote his own image. So it's just so bad on so many different levels. I really and sincerely hope he gets banned because you cannot do that. You know, if you want to rule yourself out of selection early on and say, listen, the Olympics aren't really my thing. I, I don't really want to go. It's not for me. I'm not interested. That's fine. But... When you lie about why you can't be selected, after you've used the Olympics to promote your image, I think that is despicable. So, 
FA, if anyone who works at the FA watches this, not like you're ever going to, but if you do, please ban him. Because it's just despicable how someone can play with the, the mentality of the Olympics like that and can completely snub the country and the nation on the eve of the Olympic Games in our country and then go and play for your club when you're claiming you're injured. It's just unbelievable. And I really hope he gets the book thrown at him. But, you know, that's my opinion on the subject. I'd be absolutely thrilled to hear your guys' opinion on the subject as well because, you know, everyone I've spoken to so far seems pretty annoyed about it. And I've been quickly surfing through the, the, the tweets on Twitter to see the general consensus. And the, the word that I've seen quite a lot of is disgraceful. And I actually think it is disgraceful that this footballer can do this. And, you know, like I said before, if he was genuinely injured, no problem. Of course you're not expected to play when you're injured. If it's not your thing and you rule yourself out months before and say, listen, I don't want to play. I don't want to play in the Olympics. I'd rather focus on Spurs. Fine. But when you mess people around, you tell lies and you abuse the Olympic football team for your own personal gain. And then when they actually want you to do something for them, you lie and you try and sneak your way out of it. I think that is absolutely unbelievable. And I really, really hope he gets punished. But guys, that's enough on the Gareth Bale thing. I would just like to use this last minute or so of the commentary just to give you a massive thanks. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but this week I actually passed 100,000 upload views. And when I started this uh, channel over a year ago now, well over a year ago, I literally had no idea where I could go. It was just something that I'd always wanted to try. Something that, you know, a little bit of a hobby, a little bit of fun. And for me to be sitting here now doing this commentary with 100,000 video views behind me, it's absolutely incredible. And you know, I look at the, the stats on, the, uh, on my YouTube channel and I see like people watching all around the globe in over 140 countries have watched one of my videos. And it's absolutely fantastic. So guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to really thank you sincerely for supporting my channel throughout this year or so. And I really hope you're going to stick around for the next year because there's lots of more videos to come, lots more good content to come, and I'm really going to be committed to this channel. So guys, once again, thank you for listening to commentary. Thank you for getting my YouTube channel where it is today, and I hope you have a fantastic day.